Move it here for Move It Media. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm very badly lit. That's because the sun's behind me. Videographers 101, you just, you know, you don't put the light source behind you. But there's a good reason for that because that is a solar eclipse, or at least a partial solar eclipse. Um, Quite a good uh, view from up here. We've uh, travelled north from uh, from the Nottingham City Centre to an area called Hucknall um, to a uh, place in between Hucknall and the village of Limby, which is basically um, a giant slag heap, but it's huge, it's really, really tall. There's a man over there, you'll probably see on this screen right here, a big statue, a huge statue of a man walking a dog, with all plaques around the bottom edge, so, to show you what you can see, you know, where I was pointing out, and you can see Derby, you can see Ratcliffe Power Station, Eastman's Airport from over here, I mean, it's really high up. So what a good, good vantage point. And uh, as you can imagine, there are lots and lots of people around here. And they're all here to see this, the first total eclipse visible in the UK for 16 years. I was around for the first one and it was quite good, although it was quite a cloudy day, but so far, as you can see in the sky, it was quite a blue day, so um, hopes for high. Now, here in the East Midlands we were expecting around 90% coverage of the sun, around about half past nine but it definitely wasn't the best place to see it in the in the country um, the further north you were the better it was basically and the interesting thing is solar eclipses are viewable all over the world but the next one that Britain will be able to see um, won't be until September 23rd 2090 so uh, that would be a reason why there was a lot of people here and all over the country really the other cool thing about this one was that um, the moon is at its pedigree at the moment, which means it's closest to the Earth on its orbit around the Earth, So, which makes the moon on March 20th a super new moon. Super moon. Basically means it's going to cover the sun a lot more because it's closer to the Earth. So as everyone settled down and I saw some people around me getting those special uh, cardboard lenses out to put over their eyes, we'll settle down for the show. Now, I'm not the best photographer in the world, I'm more of a videographer, but I did manage to get some good shots and... Uh, they're coming up right now, but but there are some on there from friends who live around me who managed to get much better ones of the moon in front of the sun, uh, whereas mine kind of bleached out a bit. So, enjoy! And there you go, that's it for uh, another eclipse. Um, not going to be one for a long time now. Um, quite good fun, really. It was really nice to feel part of the community up here. Lots of people from around, around the local area up here taking photos and just having a chat and just genuinely having a good time. And I hope you did too. Sorry I couldn't get any aerial shots of you with the drone. For some reason the battery's gone. The, I don't know, it's broken. I have to get a new battery for it. But until next time, you can follow me right here on these various links on uh, all the social media type of stuff. And do follow me on YouTube and Twitter slash Moobit. Until next time, I'll see you in the next vlog video. ta -ra! Mush doggy, home, mush, mush. I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.